Scientists have found that bears and other animals who hibernate have something very special in their bodies than non-hibernating animals. Now I'm gonna get into what that special thing is shortly, but first we need to talk about hibernation. Now this discovery doesn't apply to all bears, only the ones that hibernate. So it doesn't apply to sun bears, pandas, sloth bears, spectacle bears, and some polar bears. Well, depending on the season. The bears that do hibernate do it anywhere from two to seven months of the year, and only during winter conditions and pregnancy, mostly when food is scarce or the weather is too extreme to survive. But there is another catch. Bears don't actually hibernate. True hibernators would be squirrels, hedgehogs, bats, bees, snakes, and marsupials who during hibernation go into suspended animation and lower their body temperatures to below freezing. Instead, animals like bears, raccoons, and skunks enter into a deep sleep called torpor, where their heart rate and breathing decreases and their body temperature is lowered 8 to 12 degrees. These animals are too big to release the heat required for hibernation, so instead, they get as close to it as they can. This is why I'm sure you've heard the saying, don't poke a sleeping bear, because since bears go into torpor, they can immediately wake up and be very angry and react very quickly. Whereas animals that go into true hibernation can't do this because they're basically frozen in place and the only thing keeping their tissue from crystallizing is the salts in their body fluids. So if bears don't go into suspended animation, then how is it possible that they can survive for this long without drinking and eating and urinating and defecating? Well, the answer to that is their urine. Not only do their bodies break down fat storages for energy during the sleep, but their pee is turned into proteins. And this prevents them from losing their body mass and getting weak as they sleep. So why is it that humans are at risk of getting dangerous blood clots from sitting or lying for hours on end, but bears can sleep for two to seven months, really only moving to change positions so they don't get bed sores, and they don't have these risks of developing blood clots? Well, scientists have found that the key is a protein. A group of researchers took samples from 13 wild brown bears living in Sweden during the winter and summer to learn why they don't develop blood clots while they lie immobile with high cholesterol for months. What they found is that platelets from blood samples taken during hibernation were less likely to clump together than summer samples, and the ones that did clot did so more slowly. And just to refresh your memory, blood clots are formed when platelets stick together and block blood vessels. So this seasonal difference of blood platelets was pinned down to a specific protein called heat shock protein 47 or HSP 47. So the scientists found that the HSP 47 levels in hibernating bears was about one fifth the level of bears that are not in hibernation. And to confirm that this protein is in fact correlated with reduced blood clots, the team did lab tests with mice. They found that mice lacking this protein also had fewer clots and lower levels of inflammation. They also found that pigs that had recently given birth, rendering them largely immobile for up to 28 days while feeding their piglets, also had lower levels of this protein compared with active pigs. Not only this, but there is another unlikely candidate who has lower levels of HSP 47 during certain conditions. Humans. They found that people with long-term immobility because of spinal cord injuries had lower levels of this protein and no other signs of inflammation-related clotting. So what does all of this mean? Well, it means that scientists can take these findings and create a drug that'll stop HSP-47 from interacting with proteins and immune cells that cause blood clotting. Their next big question is, why is it that motionlessness causes lower levels of HSP-47? Not only that, but why are bears able to keep their veins so flexible? Scientists are even working on creating a medical cocktail of ketone bodies and melatonin, a hormone that regulates our circadian rhythm for people who have lost lots of blood, like soldiers, to prolong their lives until blood transfusions by using basic hibernation biology, preventing tissue and organ death that is lacking oxygen, similar to animals that enter into true hibernation. And just like in biorobotics, how the innovations of flying machines like planes were influenced by birds, we can pave our future by using the biological mechanisms of animals to discover medical breakthroughs and to advance medicine and healthcare for humanity.